why is it good to walk away from your problems <laughs> being stuck? Uh, no, this video is not what you think. So scientific research has shown that you're more capable of having a eureka moment, a aha, an epiphany, when your mind has just wandered off, daydreaming, doing something else. So use this to your benefit. If you're into personal development, maybe allow your mind to wander off while you're goal setting, while you're visualizing, while you're nlp yourself. If you're a coach, you could do the exact same thing. Perhaps you can even build in some mind wandering before you get started. When I work with clients and I work on these often massive visualizations for things like trauma, for things like self-esteem issues, for things that, are, that can often be fairly deeper rooted like anxiety and, and, and guilt and those types of things. I always kind of before I start, I always stop the client. And I know that if I wait a little longer, their mind actually will start wandering. And I'm telling them it's okay for that to do. Now, for one reason, the client kind of goes into themselves and they kind of quiet their mind. But I also know they'll get in mind wandering and start daydreaming at the same time. They start to kind of wander off. And that's when I start my pattern. So if that makes sense at all, how can you, as a person in personal development or as a coach, kind of build the concept of mind wandering in to not always have to be on and to, as a, as a coach, as a teacher, as an advisor, to celebrate when someone daydreams, especially children. Um, so think about that. We have a great NLP hub uh, going live. Uh, you can find a hop-off point at globalnlptraining.com. Tons of free product, lots of free information about NLP and positive psychology. Uh, we have online training, an NLP practitioner, master practitioner. We have live training all over the world, including Bali, where I am right now. Uh, see you around.